Hey everybody, this is Savage. I'm going to teach you some basics with the USB Gecko. Uh, the game we're going to be messing around with is Pacific Liberator. Uh, right now, we're in the training session. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to search for missiles. And uh, right now it's showing we have 62 of those. So we're going to put that in Gecko.net or uh, WeRD, whichever one you're using. Uh, you put your uh, decimal value in, convert it to hex, do a search, and it's going to get all your addresses from your first search, and usually your first search takes a little while, and you're probably going to get a ton of results, but that's why we're going to do the basics, so we can figure out how to narrow it down pretty easy and kind of get a feel for the gecko. Once we get uh, our addresses narrowed down, uh, there's a couple different ways to do a code because a lot of times the address will change from level to level. Uh, one of the ways of doing it is to do a pointer search where you take two addresses that do the same thing and uh, you search for them in pointer thing, uh, pointer tab right here or on uh, WeRD, whichever one you're using. The other way to do it is through ASM and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and shoot off a couple shots so now we have 60 for our missile count and we'll put that decimal amount and convert that to hex and we'll refine our search alright we have one address left so it's probably going to be it so we'll go ahead and poke it and make sure yep that was it okay so I like to run it through the breakpoint, so we'll go ahead and set it to a breakpoint. Uh, we'll be on the right setting. We'll set it, shoot off a missile, it triggered the breakpoint. Um, it gives you all the information that was uh, getting ready to happen when the breakpoint was triggered. So we'll come over here to the assembly tab, or disassembly, I mean. Um, first thing we'll try is we'll, on the store word, STW, we will knop it giving it a no operation so we'll assemble that okay and we'll shoot a missile lots of missiles and we're not losing any in our count <coughs> that's one way of doing it so we'll go ahead and restore this though because there's a couple other things you can play with in here um, this sub immediately function we can turn it to an add immediately and in turn it should every time we shoot a missile give us a missile and yeah that's working too uh, we'll go ahead and put it back so that's a couple of different ways you can do it um, some of the LIs if you find the right address where it's writing to you can make it so it just constantly gives you 99 missiles or whatever you want to do and that's just a few things you can do with the assembly. <clears throat> uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to move on to the next level and double check that at, if, see if that address changes or not. Some games you get lucky and the address never moves. Some, or actually most games, it does move. So we'll just hurry up and breeze through this training. That's done. Normally I would do a pointer search, but I just don't like the pointer part of uh, Gecko.net. Preferred on WeRD. Alright, loading into the next level. So we'll go ahead and poke this address again and see if our address did change. Okay, so it's 
so we shot a couple missiles. We'll go ahead and poke that address that we had earlier. And yeah, the address has changed. So with a code like that, you're going to want to do it in assembly or do a pointer search, uh, which would entail researching all the values for missiles and getting your second address. Um, what we're going to go ahead and do here is we already went over the main missiles. Uh, now we have two heat seeking missiles. So we'll go ahead and do a quick search for those and see where that takes us. Okay, so we'll put two as a decimal into the value, convert it to hex, which will just be two. Um, we'll do a quick search on that. And uh, if you're just learning the USB Gecko, uh, finding some offline only games is probably the best way to get a feel for learning the gecko. Games that you know are going to have a value that you can see, like this game here. Uh, it shows you how many missiles you have and how many homing missiles and all that stuff. So it'll kind of help you get a hang, get the hang of uh, using the searches. Um, there's other things you can do too for values you don't know. There's unknown value searches. There's uh, greater than, less than, so if you started out with an unknown value, uh, you would do your search, and then whatever you take away from it or add to it, you would do an equal or not equal search, or greater than, less than, depending on what you're searching for. Okay, so our results are back. We have 24,000 results for homing missiles. So we'll shoot one off, and we'll narrow it down to one. We'll refine our search. And hopefully that'll lessen a lot of the search results. It gets harder to find some of the results when they're lower numbers, but in this game so far, all you can get is two homing missiles. Alright, so that took us down to one address. So we'll go ahead and poke it. And that's the address. So we'll go ahead and put it in the breakpoint. We'll set it. Shoot one off. And that tripped it. Okay, we'll come over to the disassembler. There's a store word for it. And we can knop it. And that will more than likely give us infinite homing missiles. Yep, infinite homing missiles. And there's a sub function above it. You could knop it or put an add in it or sub or mess around with it um, and once again the same thing if you get the li with the right address you can just make it every time you shoot it will give you 99 of whichever it's for um, a lot of times like say with call of duty uh, if you find the right li function you set it to whichever register it writes to and then 99 and for anything that shoots bullets it would give you 99 ammo or 999 depending on whatever you set it to but that's pretty much it for this video um, hope it helps somebody that's just learning with the gecko and uh, yeah that's it